What's up, family? Today, we're going to simply talk about embracing failures, man. Look, we got a little under 40 days before the new year, before 2025 is here. The year everyone is going to set new goals and not accomplish 40% of them. I'm just being realistic here. So, the reason why is because you're not starting a day. That's the reason. You're trying to prolong it into next year when simply the best time to start is really now. If you have a goal for next year, why not just go ahead and get on top of it right now? But the reason why we usually don't get on top of it right now is because simply, as the human race, we're just simply scared to embrace failures. Man, look, when you're embracing failure, that is essential for your growth and success. So embrace those failures, man. Don't be scared to fail at something. Or if you're not new to this channel, remember, take L's for what? Lessons, not losses. So you got to remember that. And if you are new to the channel, just go ahead and drop a like right now. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel because we talk about this weekly. So look, we got several key reasons right here why we should embrace failures. Number one, you gain learning opportunity. For the people who have graduated college and applied for a job, yeah, the college degree is really important. But what's more valuable than someone with that degree and that experience? You see what I'm saying? So just because it doesn't go your way doesn't mean that it's not beneficial. You can still succeed in life by embracing that failure right there. And guess what? Learning from the opportunity that presented itself. Just because failure happens, it doesn't highlight your life. It's other stuff that you can help understand why our mistakes and our approach didn't let that situation work out in a moment. But guess what? It will always offer valuable lessons that success alone just cannot provide because without that fail right there, without that moment of failure, you probably would have never learned what you would have if you would have took that lesson. Number two, resilience building. I talk about this a lot. Building resilience is so important because experience, seeing, failure, it teaches you how to be perseverance. It just teaches that. It teaches you how to be reserved as well. So guess what? Each time we face a setback, we become stronger and more capable of handling future challenges with greater confidence and just greater ways to be able to adapt, honestly. I'm just being honest. That's usually what happens, man. So, number three, it encourages you to innovate yourself. Dig deeper in your toolbox. Keep elevating. Keep grinding. Keep making yourself more valuable. Those are things that it teaches you. Because usually failure or taking a lesson often pushes us to think outside the box other than something that we're used to doing or that we have been doing our entire life. So remember that. And that leads into number four, growing. It will help you grow personally. Failure or getting a lesson challenges us to confront our weaknesses and limitations to push beyond. It's just like working out. Rep to failure. Same thing. When you rep to failure, you are building your body to become stronger than what it was when it failed. It's real, 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 real simple. So guess what? When you overcome those setbacks, it can lead to increased self-awareness and emotional intelligence. So keep that pushing. Number five, it helps you get better with your problem solving skills and developing better problem solving skills when you facing failure embracing failure guess what it encourages you to have problem solving because guess what something that you want to accomplish it didn't work out so now you just got to solve the problem or you gonna moat forever which one which one will you be so guess what you will learn how to analyze that situation critically identify what went wrong and then you will develop more effective strategies moving forward and that's really really important because that helps with your growth mindset and it helps grow your mindset it's really really simple so when you embrace that 
it helps cultivate your mindset to growing. Where we see challenges as opportunities to learn rather than threats to our abilities. Because guess what? It helps us see challenges as opportunities instead of seeing threats to our abilities. Number seven, it builds courage within yourself and risk-taking traits. When you fail, you're embracing taking more risk. Because guess what? You just failed. And that was taking a risk. So you will keep on taking risks until you succeed. And that's how it's supposed to be, man. So once you start that journey and realize that, man, failure just is a part of that journey. And that's the important part of that journey. You will just keep going. Until, guess what? Number eight. You start revealing your true potential. And once you reveal your true potential, you see often that failure is not what we think. Usually it uncovers things that we didn't see certain strengths resilience and abilities within ourselves that push us further 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 beyond our limits number nine guess what failure reinforces the importance of persistence it teaches us that success is often a product of continued effort not perfection Honestly, man, like, just think about what I just said. Just think about that for a good second. Think about it. Success is a product of continued effort, not instant perfection. How many people you know that was putting in that work for a long time? And eventually, they kicked down the door. That's life, man. You got to put in that work even when no one is noticing you. You got to put in that work because eventually the lights will become brighter. But it's just like money. If you didn't know how to manage money when you got $10, how would you know how to manage money when you have $10,000 or $100,000 or $10 million? It just doesn't work like that. People think when they get something, it's like a light switch. It'll turn on and off. But... In all honesty, it's all about the traits you've built before you get to that moment. That's just the simple truth, man. So we got to realize that, be real with ourselves, and just acknowledge that. So number 10, man, it helps redefine your success. That's the final one. It embraces your failure, but it broadens your understanding of what success means. It's not always about being flawless in your execution, but it's about learning from your missteps, improving and achieving your long-term goals, man. So guess what, man? Failure is not a reflection. So guess what, man? Failure is not bad. We can fail. It's all a part of learning and growth. The natural part of learning and growth. It's all a part of that process. So let it, let's embrace it so we can set ourselves up for greater achievements in the future, man. All right, family, I love y'all. Drop a like for me real quick, man. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Share this video with y'all friends. See y'all next time, baby.